Hi, so I'm starting this tutorial series to teach people who have never programmed before but want to do robotics how to program in C. I'm starting off using Java because in these first few tutorials it's not going to make too much difference syntactically. Eventually I will have to switch over to Robot C as we get into more robotic specific code. If you want to follow along in Java, I recommend using Eclipse, which is the development environment that I'm using here. I like the user interface much better, and I can use it for Android development, so that's an added bonus. Your other option is NetBeans, which I've got open here. I use it for PHP development, but they have a version for Java as well. Again, I find I like Eclipse better, but it's kind of a personal preference thing, so either one works. For robotics, you'll be using Robot C. Now, as you can see, Robot C isn't as complex as NetBeans or Eclipse, because it is just for the competition, and otherwise not very useful. One of the first things you'll want to do is go, is to, go to the Window drop-down menu, and then select menu level and change it from basic to super user which I've already done. Basically that'll open up some other options to you that that aren't open in the default settings and that's going to be more useful to you. So today I'm going to be covering something that's not strictly code but it is definitely important in programming and that's commenting. Um, comments are basically normal text blocks that don't have any effect on your program execution. And they're designed to make your code readable because most times it isn't. Um, and it's good practice to include them in your program if you, because usually if you'll, you start writing code, put it aside, then come back to it a while later, you're not going to remember what each bit of the code does. And also, if someone else has to read your code, then they're going to have to figure out what it is doing, and commenting is basically how you do it. So there are two main types of comments in C and Java, and the first one I'm going to talk about is an inline comment. And you do an inline comment by doing two forge slashes, like I've already done, and uh, then type the line of text, and uh, like this is a comment I've written. Um, there isn't a line length in Java or C, so I mean, you technically you could make this comment as long as you'd like, and there wouldn't be a problem, but you so. It's not that readable to cram like a whole paragraph in one line, and that's where block commenting comes in. To start a block comment, you do a forward slash and an asterisk, um, like so. To end a block comment, you do a asterisk and then a forward slash. And there you've got a block comment, and I'm gonna in mine I'm going to type, oh uh, I don't know that we have a block comment and we are not programming. Okay, so that's a block comment. There's also a third type of comment, specifically in Java, and called the javadoc comment. And basically how you do a javadoc comment is you do a forward slash and an asterisk like a block comment, but then you do a second asterisk um, to make it a 
Java.com and and to en you end it basically the same way as you do a block comment. Um, basically, Java.com ends are for um, documentation purposes, um, which Java provides. Um, and yeah, um, you can basically um, have your Java doc comments online as documentation, sort of like the Java API, um, which I'll link to in the description. Um, yeah, so that is commenting for you. And I can make these any number of lines long I want. So, um, yeah, that is commenting for you.